Oh my gorgeous lions, my Leos, thank you so much for joining me. This is Mary at Mystic Wisdom Tarot, and we're going to do your March reading. I apologize, but I had a bad cough for like three weeks, and it was difficult to talk. So we're, you know, divine timing, and I know a lot of you probably already saw your March readings two weeks ago with other readers, so it's a good time to catch up on the energies. I just did cancer and oh my god it was blowing my mind uh, the veil is very thin my divine souls very thin and so most of us are very psychic at this time um, also with you guys you know the full moon's coming up uh, as well as mercury going direct thank goodness maybe that's <laughs> I tell you there's the moon okay Leo the full moon on the 9th um, is in Virgo, so it is a great time to space clear and release maybe some old energies that are down there in the depths. Yeah, the moon, I love it, it's the mystery. Sometimes the fear of change, I'm hearing, but I think this has been a lovely month for you. You're probably making good money. <clears throat> Venus and Taurus, so you're being really admired at work, I feel. Let's see what comes out. And then we're going to clarify with another deck. And then I have my romance angels and my beautiful energy oracle. Oh my God, they've been really magical in my private readings. And I'm doing this uh, new thing. I don't know if I have it on my website, um, but I'm doing 22 minutes for $22 videos. So you can watch the cards fly out when you ask your questions. And I let you have seven questions. There'll be more of that in the link below. I have a couple of flippers here and I know what they are, so I'm just going to continue shuffling. Um, bring in your energy. We call in Serapis Bay, Keepers of the Light. We only work with white light in my channel. White light, bright light, Archangel Michael, Shemuel, Ariel. Bring the messages for my beautiful Leo collective. May their spirit guides be with me and help me interpret the messages for them for their path forward on love and life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. What else do you have for them? Uh, Four of Swords and the Hermit. Well, that this these all kind of go together, don't they? The, full, the moon and the Four of Swords and the Hermit. Taking some time to rest after all the busy work you've been doing, you guys. You just never ends. You keep going and going, but you need to take some time to reflect. Yeah, I think a really lucky day for you is March 11th. That might be a day that you want to get up and get out there and uh, make things happen. So get ready for that by resting this weekend. Okay. Um, you're going to receive, I just knew it, you're going to receive a lot of downloads from the universe. So you're going to be able to, when you rest, it's going to make you more productive when you go within. Okay. Then you can come out and shine your light. We need you out there shining your light. Get a few more cards. See what's going on for March 2020 for Leo <clears throat> in love and life path. What are the messages from the collective spirit guides for Leo? We got the Knight of Swords. You could be doing something in publishing, online business, I feel. I don't always say these things. It's different every time. Uh, there's also somebody that I think is looking at you online. You could be dating online, and under that was the Emperor. But I feel with the Emperor with you guys, there are your, you know, your boss or the major CEOs and the people up above you are noticing all this work that you're doing that is really making a difference. And even your coworkers want to work with you because they see how positive you are and how you're so creative and they want to get in on that. <clears throat> but what's coming in for love for Leo? What's coming in for love? For I'm a Leo rising, so I'm, I feel like I'm almost more Leo than Scorpio, but we'll see spirit guides and angels what's coming in for love for leo oh, there you are my goddesses my queen of wands my fire sign i knew it you guys are freaking on fire 
so you're being noticed now whether this is love or not we're going to clarify but you're standing in your power you really are and the second um, week is going to be or towards the second half of march it's going to be really dynamic for you i keep on noticing her with the purple cloak um your intuition is super keen yeah, I think you're in charge of a lot of people. And they really do look up to you. That's nice. Spirit guides and angels, what can Leo... What are the messages for Leo? Thank you, collective angels and guides of the Leo group. What is it that they need to know? Thank you. Ah! Ah! And these two flipped over in my hand. I had to get them 10 of pentacles. I, what do you know? I'll tell you guys, it's really about money and success. And But this is also family and love and recognition. It's like the treasure chest of your heart is here. It's Yeah, they're pentacles. They're grounded. They're real. They're tangible. And I notice the sun here. It's like the sun is your sign, is your star. And you are the star. You're the star of your life. So don't worry about what other people think. Go and do what you know is right and what fills you with bliss. Whatever that is. I'm feeling there's a lot of, you're very, you're, you're changing things up and other people may not <clears throat> like that, but it's what is in your heart that matters. And then we have the hangman, which is like, I feel you have a whole new perspective on life and you're taking um remember that the four of swords here is like you're taking a pause and there's the sun again it's standing out to me and i never really noticed that in this card before but um get out in the sun too and get some vitamin d that's really going to help your health um so it's kind of like this ebb and flow where you need to rest and work really hard rest go to bed a half hour early get off social media at night because you're needed out there you really are needed and when when you do do that look victory and success again that was the start of your reading i knew that you're being recognized people are looking up to you for advice uh, for creative expression so i'm going to put these over here because i thought i was only going to get uh six cards but we got eight I'll put the hangman there so we're going to go through these each one by one the moon card can you see that okay guys okay um i'm a little old school sorry still videoed this on my ipad <laughs> i got i even went and got a, a rebuilt um imac pro and i swear to god now i know why readers when they use them they sound all hummy and vibrating because those things make noise you know, they have little motors. I don't like it. Anyway, maybe if I can figure out how to uh, work the iMovies and do all the crazy stuff that everybody else does. But, you know, I'm 60, so I'm like, I don't know. It's not na natural to me. I knew it. Look at that. We got a king. A knight? Is that a knight? King. King of wands, baby, with my queen. You got a partnership. But I'm doing that over the moon. So there's a mystery man. And if, you know, change this up for the, the sexes because uh, I get notices that. I have 80% women. There's a mystery man coming in, king of wands, who I, I feel is so passionate, so exciting. It could also mean for some of you, I hope thousands of you are watching, uh, a new business partner, a boss yeah that is mysterious and interesting which you love you love mysterious and interesting people yeah i want to ask again about that king of wands who is he tell us more spirit guides because he's such a mystery man we need a little clue about this king of wands that's coming in from my queen of wands okay page of swords yeah so it's somebody that's got an eye on you see that little bird talking in his ear 
Somebody's been telling this King of Wands about you. They're very interested in you. So he could be, you could be somebody dating online. Oh, look at that beautiful parakeet. I used to have one who I just was my spirit animal. I'd love to get another one, but it's so sad. I could cry my eyes out when they die. Just, you know, very spiritual. Birds are very spiritual. So this person is mysterious, but don't worry. They are very spiritual. I'm feeling. So tell us, guides, why we have the Four of Swords for my Leos. Why is my Four of Swords here for my Leos? Rest, recuperation, meditation. You know, I'm noticing him like ready to grab that sword and get up at any moment when necessary. You could need to just take some naps during the day if you can. Uh, keep your energy and your health up. The sun. Da -da 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 -da. The sun flipped over. That's you, you guys. Mmm, shines the truth and the light and your authenticity to the world. We need you. We need your brains and your, your logic and the fire that you have in your belly. Like I see that the solar plexus chakra. Follow your intuition because you're being guided. You're being guided to wake up to your true authentic self. The truth and clarity is coming to you this month. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Spirit guides, why do we have the hermit here? Tell us for our Leo collective. And thank you guys so much for your patience with me. I love you all so much. And just by listening to my voice and watching my videos, I feel your spirit guides around me. I send you my healing light and love. Always make it real by subscribing and there we go the ace of swords see more truth and clarity you want the honest to goodness truth about things in life you're you're a little bit of a detective i know i'm a scorpio so i'm very much a detective but with that leo sun leo rising it's how i show myself in the world how are you going to show yourself in the world? What is it that you want to bring out? I feel there could be something with a new blog, a podcast. I'm not into all that stuff. I don't know, but I'm loving it. And now with the things going on in the world, we have to reach people in a different way. I think you're writing, you're being creative. And see the eagle eye, this is a Scorpio. Um, you might have Scorpio, you have Scorpio somewhere in your sign. Um, in your chart yeah you have an eagle eye now that you've come out of meditation and you've been downloaded some incredible information from the universe your guides your past life you want to share that with the world by doing a blog or something um and and now that i see the knight of swords i see that too so let's let's see what the knight of swords has to say before i get to that hangman up there why do we have the knight of swords eight I knew it. You guys are working hard. You're still working on this project that you're writing, blogging. You know, eight of coins is working, but you're not done. You're still focused. And the Knight of Swords is saying, continue, keep going, keep going. You have so much to offer. Get the pen to the paper, the fingers to the keyboard and write, just write, because you guys are going to come up with some incredible poetry, art, Whoa, um, information that we need. You could be discovering new things in science. Wow, I've never said that before, you guys. So that's pretty incredible. Okay, so Queen of Wands, my beautiful Queen of Wands. What do you need to know for this month of March 2020? Calling in your spirit guides. Oh, God, it's beautiful. The Empress. You are the Empress. Stay grounded. Stay focused. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Love your family. More birds I'm seeing. So much spirituality here. You could be coming pregnant this month. I feel you're, you're such a nurturer. So loving. So that's beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> Get out in nature, breathe the trees. 
you know, our lungs are really important with all these different flus and, and uh, COVID-19. Lungs, lungs, lungs. Do your, uh, get some, get one of those little um, diffusers and get some eucalyptus, sandalwood, um, cedar wood, peppermint. You know, you can look it up online and get that in there and breathe that at night. It's beautiful. And then get out during the day in nature. It's going to help clear your lungs and make you healthy and strong to um, get through this uh, flu season and the COVID-19. And that COVID thing is not going to last more than a year. But take care of you. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like your guides and angels are really watching over you. Bless all my Leos. Bless all my Leos. Ooh, that one's flying. Two of coins. Yeah, you are. You're a good multitasker. You're balancing things out with your money and your resources. You're, <laughs> I see him walking the tightrope there. As a kid, I used to do that. I always wanted to be in the circus. <laughs> Didn't we all, right? Now I look at those. I can't even look down the Grand Canyon anymore. I get afraid of heights. False evidence appearing real. There's the hangman under there too saying, yeah, you're juggling things, but take the pause. That's the main message. Tell, tell me about um, the Ten of Pentacles again. What does this represent? Judgment, a calling, waking up to your true path and passions. You're being called. Look at the doves there, beautiful. It's like the resurrection, the Rosicrucian, waking up, coming into a new life. Also, don't judge yourself so harshly if you haven't reached where you want to be. Little by little, step by step, create that abundance. Create that path forward. Write out your dreams. Tell us about the Six of Wands, the success and victory that my beautiful Leos are going to be having. Wow! That was crazy. That one, I don't know. Oh my God, you guys. No. This one, did you see that? I mean, that thing flew out so hard, you could hear it. Ah, <sighs> it's about time we got to love. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups is your victory and success. And now this could also be partnership in work, but I see it as love. Yay. Spirit guides, tell us. I know the way that that card came out, I knew it had to be from source, that that was an important message for you, that yes, love is coming too. What did Leo need to know about the Two of Cups in love? Please give us truth and clarity, truth and clarity. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I just love spirit. The Ace of Cups. True love is coming your way. You've, you've worked so hard. You so deserve it, my divine souls. I'm so happy for you. So if you've had any question about it, you are waking up to this love that's coming to you. With the sun card here, I mean, my God. I'm so glad I'm a Leo rising, because look at that. My, my uh, twin flame's a Leo. Look at that. It just brings such a smile to my face that this is happening for you with the sun there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's get a, for shits and giggles, they say, a romance angel card for Leo, for Leo, for March. See, it's all divine timing. If I would have done this when I was sick, it wouldn't have come out so nice. And a lot of you have already watched your sign weeks ago for this month, so this is a fresh new energy. This is March 7th. I want you guys to get out there on the 11th. I think that that's the message here. If you don't have love or an interest, get out on the 11th. Hang out with your girlfriends, your friends. Maybe you're going uh, outdoor barbecue or picnic. I recommend doing things outside. <laughs> Tell you the truth. No dank bars. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. <clears throat> 
and attraction. Man, I haven't seen this card in months. And this is one of my favorites. It's like you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. What is she doing? She's outside smelling a rose. I mean, do you remember those songs we used to sing when we were little kids? Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Do you know what that song came from? The plague in the 1700s. And people used to uh, sew rose petals into their jackets, pocket full of posies, roses, like peonies. Now, there's something to this. There's something to aromatherapy. There's something to breathing outside. And then the ashes, ashes, we all fall down as the people that die. So get out there. Take care of your health. Don't have panic and fear. Just wash your hands. Keep your, and you know, don't be putting your fingers in your nose or your eyes. That's where you get it, mainly your eyes. Um, yeah, so go smell some, go smell the roses because when you're attractive, when you are out there smelling the roses, this king or this queen is going to notice your countenance is going to be vibrating high with glowing pink cheeks. And voila, voila, there you go. Yay. Okay, so what's your spiritual advice from the Energy Oracle? Anything that my divine souls need to know regarding March and this love? Anything at all, spirit guides, that you'd like, my beautiful Leos? Great time on the full moon to release. And also with Mercury going direct, that's the great time to, on the 11th, maybe submit your podcast, get ready for it on the 9th, and post it on the 11th what I'm hearing for somebody who does podcasts I don't know or some sort of blog or it's going to be successful you're going to really rise up rise up come on spirit guides I need a card angels and guides of the collective Leo thank you thank you for this beautiful reading bring them additional messages so that they can move forward on their path towards love and success. What is it that you have for them? Wow, I feel my shock, envy. Wow, people are gonna be very envious of you. Um, yeah, beware of, of touting your successes too high. And don't be envious of other people. Envy is just, and jealousy is a very low vibration. I used to, be so jealous in my 20s of my ex-husband's, I mean, he was my husband at the time, Girl, ex, old girlfriends. Oh, such a waste of time. Seventh Chakra, Archangel Urel. This is you, my crowning queens and kings. Your crown chakra. I was feeling that when this th Two of Cups came out. My crown chakra was like shh, lit up. Do some meditation. Remember, you're going to go within. You're going to be working hard. Get out in nature. Honor yourself. And you are receiving beautiful messages from the divine. Lovely, lovely. I want to get one more little love card here. And if you do a $22 video with me for 22 minutes, I always go over. I also use my pendulum for yes or no in those videos. Or I do a $17 uh, spread, which is great. Oh my God, oh my God. New beginnings and freedom. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear. If you want, want it to be, it's all free will. All right, my divine souls. I'm gonna put Uriel up there because I love the number 41. It's magical. We're all here to help raise each other's vibration. By watching this, it is healing you, and I'm sending you all my love and light. Many blessings. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, Bella. I'll be doing a twin flame reading soon as well. Ciao, Bella. Namaste.